Come shop with me at this year's Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanna share what I discovered in the store while shopping the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. For those of you who don't know, I am not new to this sale. This is my eighth year covering it. I did do a preview video. I think that video is incredibly comprehensive. So if you're getting your list together to shop, make sure that you go watch that video first. This is more first impressions in one specific store. Obviously, they don't put all of the pieces in every single store. It depends on your location. And so I decided to go to the Nordstrom in Santa Monica, California. I wanted to tie it in with a little beach getaway. So that felt like a really great store for me to visit. And I really found some awesome pieces that I'm excited to share with you. None of them were the super high-end pieces. And at first I was thinking, I don't know if I should stay. Maybe I should go to a different store in California. I decided not to because those higher-end pieces typically sell out quickly. And so if if you want to see what those picks were again go watch that other video in this one I want to share some more affordable stand-up pieces that I think will effortlessly and seamlessly fit into your wardrobes for the fall season some of them are wear now wear later but most of them are for fall because I decided to fly to a Nordstrom store I knew that going into the store, I couldn't buy that much. So I bought little things that I could easily pack into a suitcase. So instead I ordered a bunch of things online. And so I wanted to kind of share with you first what I ordered online. I ordered this All Saints Cashmere Blend Crew Neck Set Sweater in Time Green because I love this color. I ordered the Rag & Bone Lenny Wolf Fedora Mother Raw Hem Flare Jeans. Remember the page jeans that I featured in the last video? The ones that make you look like you have legs for days? The Mother jeans felt very similar very similar style but they're a shorter cropped jean which I really love because maybe I could wear them with flats or sneakers I ordered the good American fitted scuba blazer that I talked about in the last video I'm excited to see that it also comes in plus size the Nordstrom longline vest in ivory pristine which, which I think is very chic and sophisticated and unique because it doesn't have sleeves. I stocked up on my favorite underwear by Notori called the Bliss Cotton Girls Briefs. I don't know why they say girl. Like, <laughs> I'm not a girl, I'm a woman. A woman. I did also grab the Monica Venator Nida Diamond Cocktail Rings. I'm really excited to see what that one looks like as well. And the Rag & Bone Retro Sneakers in Light Sand Suede. So those are the things that I ordered right out of the gate. So let's talk about the first look, which actually is featuring this sweater that I'm wearing right now. So I'm on the beach in California where it does get a little bit chilly at night. I love that by the way. I'm also in Colorado, it gets a little bit chilly at night. So I love that this is a lighter like mint green color and feels very summery because it is a cotton, but then it will transition beautifully into fall. So I loved this style of sweater. It has kind of just this little extra fabric, almost like a hood, but not in the back. And it comes in a few colors. This one's by Free Peach. It's a crop silhouette, so you don't have to worry about tucking it or having too much excess fabric. So I paired that with some really cute mother jeans that are a baby boot cut. Remember the video I did where I talked about trends for the season and how jean silhouettes are shifting? You'll see that in this year's sale. A lot of the jeans are a different silhouette, new silhouette, the baby boot cut, the fit and flare, the wide leg, and straight leg jean is more of what you're seeing right now. I love that these are flattering in the sense that they're quite fitted, but that they have more of the straight leg or that baby boot cut leg, so they feel a little bit more modern. And then Mother Jeans, this particular pair is quite stretchy, very soft, very comfortable. And the lighter blue feels more modern too. You know, we had this very long period of dark blue, dark blue, dark blue, dark wash, dark wash, dark wash, and now there are all different washes, all different colors, all different shapes. And then on my feet, the Dolce Vita sandals that I shared in the last video that are very comfortable. The only thing I would say about this pair is if you do have a bunion on the side of your foot, the straps do not cover that bunion. That's just a consideration. By the way, these necklaces are both Kendra Scott. It's two separate necklaces. This one is layered with three strands and this one is more of a choker length. And I really loved the combination of these two pieces together. You'll see them in every single look that I'm featuring. The Free People sweater are very affordable. Mother jeans are a little bit more expensive and the Dolce Vita sandals are very affordable. I love this next outfit so much. You're gonna see a lot of green in this video. <laughs> this is a faux leather BB Dakota green boyfriend blazer. 
so cool, so fun, so unique, so different, a standout piece, and also very affordable. And I just paired that over a white cast on t-shirt with the same necklaces and some really cool good American jeans. These are a coated straight leg jean. They're a coated cropped straight leg jean. So they are perfect for petites. I'm 5'4", as a reminder. The only thing is I would say normally Good American runs so large. These are a six or a 28. So normally I wear a 26. So I would say size up two sizes from what you normally wear. If you normally wear a 26, then you want a 28. If you normally wear a 27, then you want a 29. They run very small. And then to finish off the look, I wanted to mix these green tones. I saw this All Saints leather handbag. It's a smaller size. It's a great everyday size that would fit those essentials like your phone and your sunglasses and your lipstick, maybe a few other things. It is like a little bit bigger than just an essentials bag, but what a cool color, what a versatile neutral color. And I really loved wearing and pairing these two green shades together. I thought that was really fun. The sunglasses, by the way, are Celine. They're the flat top Celine sunglasses. They, they've been around for a long time. I love these. And then on my feet, this is the pair I ordered, the Rag & Bone Retro Sneakers. I freaking love them. Do you guys remember the pair that I wore all over Spain by Goya? That's what these remind me of. And if you love to travel and you need really chic street sneaks, these are a slam dunk for fall. So I bought in store, I bought the black pair. I love them, they're so light. And then I also ordered the sand colored ones. So I may keep both, honestly, I love them. So the sneakers are a little bit on the pricier side. The good American jeans are, you know, right in the middle for designer jeans. And then you've got that really affordable faux leather blazer. Moving on, I wanted to give you guys something for the office. And I felt like this would be a really easy and great casual Friday outfit idea. So I'm wearing those same good American coated crop straight jeans with some flats. Eureka, flats, I know. Full disclosure, I probably would never wear these because I do not wear flats. Like if I'm gonna wear flats, I wear sneakers. But if you work in an office, I think these are beautiful flats. I love the hardware. I talked about them in the last video, how they reminded me of a pair I bought in Spain. Beautiful brass hardware. They're very feminine. They're easy to get on, easy to get off. They just look really sharp. Pair those jeans with a Free People floral print blouse. This blouse, I didn't know what it was gonna look like in person, but I was pleasantly surprised when I discovered that this Free People floral print top is 100% cotton. So another example of a wear now, wear later. If you wanna wear it now, you can. It's breathable, it's lightweight. I love all the details, the cuff, the collar, the neckline, the print is very sophisticated. I like that it's a small floral print with a black background. There are a couple of other color combinations too. I did talk about this one in the preview video, but I really loved it even more in person. And then I finished off the look with an open edit black blazer. It's in a ponty knit fabric, so it doesn't wrinkle. I did order that Good American Scuba blazer, so if you're choosing between the two, just take a look at both. Open edit's gonna be a lot more affordable than the Good American one, but take a look at both. You also can just grab a black blazer out of your closet and recreate this look with a pair of black jeans or black pants, a pair of black flats that you have, black blazer that you have, just grab the blouse. And then you've got an easy and stylish office outfit option for fall. Wanted to show you some coats. The first one was really exciting for me. I ended up not buying it only because it's so heavy and I didn't wanna to have to pack it in my suitcase, so I ordered it. It's a Sam Edelman mixed media trench, like a trench style wool coat, and it's got faux leather and wool and a belted waist. It's both olive green and black, so in addition to the mixed media, the mixed fabrics, it also has mixed colors. It's just really edgy and cool. And then I wanted to show that with a crossbody All Saints bag. Again, very edgy with the you know silver, almost like grommet-like hardware. And this tote is actually a little bigger than that green one, but still very versatile, everyday, effortless, will work with everything in your closet. I just threw this on over the same Good American coated jeans. And then on my feet, I have some really versatile, sophisticated Vince leather booties. These have a block heel. The leather 
is very soft. They are a bit more on the narrow side, so that's a consideration. If you have a wider foot, they may not work. They work really well for me. They have a side zip. So if you don't already have that kind of go-to everyday fall booty, I think these are a beautiful, really luxurious option that you will wear day after day after day after day. Unless you're in a cold climate where it rains a lot then you probably won't. Then you probably want the Blondo booty or the Aquatalia booty. The next coat that I wanna show you is actually one of the wild cards that I talked about in the preview video by Avec Le Fee. It is a houndstooth, black and white, check, oversized coat. Just really feel like this is a standout piece. It's really pretty with all black, but you definitely could add a pop with like red or yellow, and that would be fun too. Just a cool piece, very affordable. The brand Avec Le Fee is quite affordable, and then underneath, paired it with a halogen sweater that has a gorgeous square neckline, rib knit at the body, and then a balloon sleeve puff shoulder detail, which make it really special and unique. I think the sweater you could wear easily, like on date night or out to dinner with the girls. You know, it has a lot of versatility to it and it has femininity, but also it's a little bit sexy too. In the store here, they didn't have that Reese asymmetrical sweater, but Denise went into her store in Philadelphia and she said that it was an awesome sweater and she bought it, really loves it. Don't forget about that. This is a more affordable version of that, but the Reese sweater too. So look at the two of them and then decide maybe. I think they play the same role in your closet as that go-to for a night out. That's keeping you covered and warm when it gets chillier, but also making you feel like, hmm, you know, a little dash is sexy. Every year they have a poncho and every year, like I never feature it in the preview, but I go into the store and I'm like, ah oh man, I love a poncho. <laughs> I get sucked into the poncho. <laughs> this poncho I love because it is a beautiful, really rich camel brown shade and it's got a great neckline. The sleeves are more three quarters. So if you have a really beautiful blouse underneath or turtleneck with some texture, it will allow that blouse or that turtleneck to shine and you can take this and wear it as is, flowing, billowy, covers up everything, <laughs> which is really nice. Or you could do something like this, belted, so that it creates a little more shape if you're feeling like it's just a little bit too oversized, or just mix it up, depending on how you're feeling that day. And here again, you see I have that All Saints tote. It's a really great size. It's not too big but it's also much bigger than just that essentials bag. You could have a small laptop in here. You could have a notebook or your journal. You could definitely have other things besides just those key core pieces. This next look I love, and I would say it's probably the most basic look out of the bunch. It is a sweater, jeans, and heels. It's like the fall uniform. And this sweater, I feel like I've had a version of this in the past, but I love an ivory sweater. I love that it has the boat neck. I love the rib detailing and the dolman sleeve. It's cropped, so you can easily just do a little half tuck. It's a really pretty sweater, comes in a few colors, very affordable. It's just easy for fall and very pretty. I paired that with some frame Lahai jeans and they are la long, let me tell you. With these jeans, I have on a pair of platform shoots sandals. <laughs> and if I did not have on this size of a heel, these jeans would be too long on me. That's something to think about. Remember in the last video, I talked about checking that inseam length and I highlighted some of the jeans that were longer, like the Dojo, like this pair, Lahai. There's another pair that we found in store. The name is escaping me right now, <laughs> but they were even Oh, they were by page and they were even longer than these. So we'll put those links for our tall ladies in the description box below, but make sure you look at that fine print so you know like, okay, this pair by frame is gonna be too long for me. I would have to have it tailored. So maybe instead I'm gonna get the pair by page that Aaron featured that I know are shorter or the pair by mother that I know are shorter. Really paying attention to that inseam length. But when you throw on a pair of jeans like this, that fit and flare jean with a sky high heel, it's like legs for days. So whenever you wanna look longer, taller, slimmer, you know, whatever the adjective may be, this is the combination you use. I wanted to give you some dresses too. Unfortunately in this store, they didn't have the Cinca set dresses, which I was excited to try in the Paisley print. There's the mini and the midi. So I didn't get to try those, but they did have a lot of really cute black dresses. The first one I thought, 
when I saw it, I was like, mm, I don't know, I don't know. But I just tried it on anyway, and then I kind of fell in love with it and bought it. It is a knit dress by BB Dakota and Steve Madden collab. And I got it because I feel like I can wear it on a date with Chris and look sexy, but still feel like comfortable. So it has the sleeves, it's short, but it has a look, you know, shows off some, some cleavage. It's super sexy. All right, this is not something you're gonna wear to the office, something you're gonna wear on girls' night or date night. When you wanna look sexy but still have some coverage. So that's what purpose this one is serving and I paired it with those shoots platforms because I wanted to dial up the va va -voom. These platforms definitely do that, and especially because they are more of a skin color for me, so they really elongate the legs as well. But I could see this with some really gorgeous like camel colored boots, scrunchy boots, or even black booties if you have some elegant, more fitted to the leg black booties. Speaking of black booties, here you go. I paired another dress, BB Dakota Steve Madden, with those same Chelsea boots by Vince. Do you guys remember the dress I featured quite a bit last year by Steve Madden, BB Dakota? Yeah, this black shift. The version this year is a little different and I felt like it was versatile enough for me last year that I wanted to get this one. This one is in the same fabric, doesn't wrinkle, very lightweight. It could definitely be a wear now, wear later. You'll wear it all summer and then you can wear it into fall. It has a V neckline, it nips in in the waist, more of an A-line skirt, still a mini, still a mini, so that's a consideration. Smocked cuffs, just a really great solid piece. It does nip in the waist. There's an elastic waistband at the waist, but I decided to style it in the store with a belt. This is a Nordstrom belt, by the way. And then with the Vince booties and the green All Saints handbag and Celine sunglasses. This dress also comes in green. This last dress I wanna show you is another one of those dresses where I looked at it and was like, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Sometimes you just have to try things on, give it a whirl, step out of the comfort zone like I talk about so much. And so this one was a little bit out of my comfort zone. I tried it on. I liked the faux leather. I liked that it was croc emboss. I liked that it looked like it had a really nice feminine silhouette. I tried it on and immediately like I put it on and I was like, mm, I'm a badass, you know? You just feel kind of edgy and like you can conquer the world in a dress like this. It really did have this sort of transformative impact. And I thought if you work in an office where it's not super conservative or traditional, this could be a really fabulous piece. Or maybe, you know, you have more of a unique job, like you work in an art gallery or you go to events, you know, and you need different pieces that you can pepper in. I feel like this could be a great piece, very wearable, like midi length, nips in at the waist, A-line skirt, so it's not super tight. It's a thicker fabric because it is that faux leather so it doesn't show lumps and bumps. You know, so many of the dresses that I tried on were either very tight, very thin, or a kind of a silky fabric so there's just zero forgiveness and you have to wear Spanx underneath. And once I started getting into that, I was like, no, 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 because I don't wanna do that so I know you guys don't wanna do that. I don't wanna have to buy something that requires special treatment. I wanna get pieces that will effortlessly and seamlessly integrate into my wardrobe. They don't require special bras, they don't require special undergarments, they don't require special styling. You know, that's really what I'm looking for and I think most of you are looking for too, just in terms of ease of use. I feel like that's what I really found today. Just so many of those pieces that will effortlessly fit into your wardrobe, but also, you know, are on the more affordable side, which I was very excited about. And yes, I wanted to see all the Veronica Beard stuff, but I know that's the stuff that sells out every year and then everybody gets frustrated. So that dress I also tried with the belt, which I thought just emphasized the waist a bit more. And then the Vince elegant leather booties, same necklaces that I have on with every single look and some Celine sunglasses. I did get two pairs of the Celine sunglasses. I've always loved Celine sunglasses. Like I remember pulling them for photo shoots that I did when I was styling editorial shoots in San Antonio, <laughs> Texas. There's a heft to them. I don't know, they don't feel as delicate as other sunglasses. Plus they're really cool. So I got this pair, which is both tortoise and black. I liked that it was, you know, both cat eye retro. And then I got the flat top ones. I have fake ones of these. I thought since they're on sale, I got the real thing too. If you are just making your list now, remember I did the preview video. You should watch that one, take some notes. Also, 
If you are not already an email subscriber, make sure you subscribe because you need to get the capsule wardrobe we put together specifically featuring pieces from the Nordstrom anniversary sale and every single piece is an elevated basic. They all work beautifully seamlessly together and it's put together for you in this beautiful graphic. So we'll put the link to subscribe to the newsletter below. If you're already a subscriber, then you will have already seen it or it's in your email inbox already. And then also we have a collection over on the LTK app where we put our end sale favorites. So you can easily go over there, check out our Nordstrom sale favorites, and then shop them right from there. It's very easy to use. We did additionally put together our annual epic blog post with all of our picks. For example, kids is on there, men's is on there, home is on there, every category, sweaters, blazers, coats. So it's all right there for you and we'll put the link in the description box below as well. Now it's your turn. Did you go into the store? What did you see? What did you find? What did you touch and feel that you thought, oh, this is really so much better than I thought it was going to be? And what wasn't? What did you see that you were like very disappointed by? Let us know that is such valuable information and you can help somebody else with their shopping and narrow it down because who wants to spend all their time ordering and returning things? Such a waste of time. That would be really helpful information and we'd really appreciate it if you shared in the comments. Shout out to Susan on my team whom I met for the very first time here in Santa Monica. We had fun in the store together. <laughs> she shot a bunch of pictures for me and video and uh, we just had a really good time. And Kat and Pat from the store who really helped make the experience so enjoyable. That's it. Hope you have a happy, happy, happy day. Who am I? Happy Nordstrom sale, guys. Let us know if you have questions, sizing, links, all of it is in the description box below. I am going to go now enjoy the beach, the waves, the sounds, and I will see you next time. Bye.